little faster than I thought today, so I'm going to go ahead and throw the cam in. But before I throw that cam in, you should check out my cam unboxing video. Uh, this is a Lenati camshaft. It, I'll tell you all about it there. But before I can throw it in, i got to clean it up. So here's how I'm doing that. I'll just start. Do one half at a time. All this stuff on here from the factory helps keep it from rusting in the box. Kind of see there. One half at a time. These lobes are going to get worn in in the first uh, 20 minutes of running. And I'll show you that procedure when we first start it. But there's that half. This will also need a keyway. Notice it's missing. They don't, they don't give you one with it. So I'll get the other one out of my old cam. I'm sure you can buy them. Go a little bit more. Flip over to the new part of my pants rag here. Sure, it's clean. I don't know. It was new. Nah. I'm sure mine is. I like to run my fingers over the lobes. For some, for some strange reason, it could have a sharp point or something. I mean, you never know until you check. And then I will take this over to my blow gun and blow these holes out. One, two, three, four. I believe that's it. Just blow out the end holes. Here we are. This is Iskis Red Blue with Molly Sulfide. Apply Red Lube over cam lobes and tablet surfaces during assembly. Balance of can content should be applied to other highly stressed surfaces. Subject metal, metal contact, rocker arms, etc. I'll show you that stuff. This is really good stuff. It's like black tar. I believe I'm gonna smear this off and put that on. That's uh, I've never had a cam lobe go bad. And. This is what came with like a solid lift uh, ISKI cam, so I'm going to go for it. I got nearly a full, uh, full package. Check that out. I'll do the ends of my lifters too when I stick those in. I've seen a lot of even Mopar people lately that have um, had some cam lobes round out, round out on them because the uh, China-made lifters. But I'm assuming they'll they're making lifters as cheap as they can now, just like everything else. But Iski is a good product. They're made in California. Or at least sold there. I'm not sure if they're made there or not. I try to keep this only on my cam lobes, not on my journals. I'll put my assembly lube that I made, my 5050 Lucas oil, on those cam journals. I'm glad I remember this stuff. It is some strong medicine. It smells 
very stout. Whatever it is, it works. It's probably left over from the Chris Files collection. He donated that. There's my assembly lube. Hopefully, you can see that. Got on my glove. Get a little on those cam lobes. Or uh, journals, I mean. Cam bearings. I'm putting it on the cam bearings. There we go. I'll learn to talk in a minute. It just drips down, drips down, drips down those center holes that goes down to the crankshaft. So, not hurting a thing. motor workbench. How do you feel about that? Hopefully good. A little bit more. That lobe is ready. Try to get me a good straight stab here. Oh yeah, last one. Come in. There we go. A little bit further. Booyah. That came with in. All right, here's the last thing I'll show you today. That's just a cam plate. So it has a provision for four bolts, but it only takes three. There's an example of one of the bolts. Looks like a 5 16 probably a 8 grade or something. But the cam's going to rub against this over and over and over again, so I'm going to go ahead and splash a little bit of lube, lube on it before it goes together. That's good. Way plenty. There we go. And it'll slide on just like that. Have a nice squish. The cam in, got our three bolts in. It's actually flipped upside down right now. But you'll notice the block, there's a hole there, but there's uh, no hole behind it. So it's just to hold that uh, little wing there that'll basically an oiler or a scraper for the timing chain. Um, I've got my keyway in the cam. And since I saw you last, I've actually got my, went and picked my heads up. So they're ready to go. Been bead blasted. I painted them. Uh, that's a set that I did uh, two or three porting videos on. Uh, these are comp springs. I'll try to get a part number up for those if you want to know it. But they turned out really well. He, um, he actually cut, cut uh, 15 thousandths off the bottom just to kind of get some of the pitting off and such and I got my valve covers painted I don't really like this you can see it's kind of more textured than I want this uh, 
duplicolor engine enamel with ceramic. It says Chrysler blue, but I don't know. It looks a little dark to me. I'd, I'd hate for somebody to think I was driving a Ford or something. But I don't know. I may I may switch that up, but it, it's the same paint I painted the block with. I thought the block looked okay. Uh, but yeah, next time, time and chain will get on, time and cover, and then we'll do windage tray, oil pump, oil pan. Obviously, the pickup goes in the pump. You'll see that. Front and rear main seals. Not main seals. Uh, front and rear block seals, oil pan seals. And then I'll be able to throw some heads on. That sort of stuff. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next trip. <laughs>